Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here. I'm really glad to share with you my very first Manuka Honey face mask. And I'm doing the aspirin one. I do want to do the Manuka with the turmeric as well because I love turmeric and I drink it as a tea and I'm actually thinking I'm going to swap out the honey that I normally put in and start using Manuka. Anyway, this is really exciting. It's a bit of a laugh. I'm really not don't do these things but why not i'm going to start sharing more of the natural things that i do I, what the heck i have a story at 71 too right i do stuff that works okay so no further ado and here she goes okay guys this is how not to do a manuka honey face mask <laughs> it looks like i'm breaking out and this is the aspirins i thought i did a really good job mashing them and i didn't so I need to get some new tools in the house, but I'm not taking it off for half an hour. I need six aspirins and I have my Manuka honey, which uh, was in my um, shopping haul that I had. I will link that above. Now I don't have all the right tools, but we need six aspirins. Four. Oh, thank goodness I can count. <laughs> okay, one back. All right, well, this is from the old days with um, when my kids were little. I'm gonna go with one tablespoon of Manuka because apparently we can save it to the next day if we have some left over. Okay, I thought this would, would be fuller, but anyway, here we go. I thought I really mashed up the aspirin, but not as well as I thought. But I think it's okay. Let's go use this. Okay, <laughs> finally, 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 I'm going to do my very first Manuka Honey face mask. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to do this. Um, I've seen it over and over again and the biggest thing with my skin I've got a lot of um, as I call them my mature freckles I don't know how to call them anything else but that okay so I you saw me mix the honey with the six aspirins now the only thing is I didn't get my aspirins quite as powdery as I think it was supposed to but I pretty well Whew, there's a few little little lumps and bumps in here, but hopefully um, that is going to be okay. Um, next time I will have to do a better job. I thought my spoon was. That's how I used to give my kids medication. Okay, so I can't see what I'm doing. My glasses are off. And uh, the way I saw it being done, it doesn't drip. Oh my gosh, you guys, I really can't see what I'm doing. It's really awful when you can't see. <laughs> I really can't see. It goes on really easy, very smoothly. I'm really excited about this to see. Even if it doesn't get rid of my uh, mature freckles, I'm okay with that. Like I've told you guys, um, you know what? Those were totally self-induced through uh, years and years, 60s, 70s, even the 80s and the 90s, laying by the pool. And um, so they are what they are. But since I don't cover them up with primers or um, makeup, I should at least do some healthy things. Oh my gosh, I need a magnifying glass to do all this. I wonder why I didn't think of this earlier. <laughs> I can see the bits of aspirin. I'm gonna definitely have to do a better job. I didn't think I'd left that many. They feel far bumpier. Do you know what? I'm totally okay with it. I'm all about making boo-boos. Cause now I will know better next time. 
This is Leedy's version of it. Now, you can even apparently put this on your lips. Now, I'm all for that. And the end of my nose. That's the way I saw it being done. Well, I hope I don't, I mean, a lot of the aspirin did get really powdery, but obviously a lot of it didn't. So I hope I don't lose the benefit of that. But you need to, uh, like I said, I never knew about this honey until I found out about it on Peach's Skin Care. And then I started reading up on it and it's got so many benefits, but I'm gonna share something which a lot of people my age, as we mature, I'm very fortunate I don't have it, but they say it is very good if you are a diabetic, that it's got real uh, medicinal healing in the honey for like, if you have uh, people that like really, I don't know if all diabetics, cause I'm really not that well versed on it. So I'm just sharing this with you and go do your own research. But apparently if you have open wounds or whatever, this honey is supposed to be incredible. So do your research, but I think it's for anybody that's, um, I am so into finding out more about this honey for all kinds of other reasons, besides just putting it on my face that yes, I think I'll be buying more of this. It's just, it's quite expensive. Okay, so apparently 20 minutes and uh, I'll check back in with you guys. I'll leave it on for half an hour and I'll see what it washes off like and what my skin looks like. Okay, see you later. Well guys, I finished my face mask and I love it. It is, it feels so good. My skin feels so soft. Now, you know, normally I love my blush and I put no blush on. I just did put on some of my eye makeup or mascara, I should say, and a little bit of gloss. And I've just left my my face just so that it can absorb anything that is still going in to my pores from this Manuka honey. It feels really, really good. I definitely would recommend that you try it if you can. And you saw it was the six aspirins and the one tablespoon of Manuka honey. And yes, I would highly recommend it. I think you should try it. I'm really, really pleased with the results. So thanks for being here. And remember, life is short, you guys. Go do it.